Hey, hey, section two, do you hate yourself? Now I want you to think about this and I really want you to process self-hate and ask yourself, do I hate myself? And I'm using hate and it's a strong word. It's a strong word. But think about what's happening in our world. Think about how the world beats up on you all your life for whatever it may be. So for me, and I'll use myself for an example and you think about yourself, I don't say I hate myself, but I'm gonna use that word. So I may feel insecure in a lot of business dealings because of my country accent, because I can't speak you know, proper, super proper English and I have this Southern draw. And so that may make me feel inadequate because I know people may judge me and say he's uneducated or he's dumb because he speaks like that. So that makes me shrink. That makes me lose confidence and I, and I don't go after the jobs that I want. Now I have had braces for two and a half years. I got them off. But before that, I didn't love my smile. I did not love my smile, so guess what? I never did this, what I'm doing right now. I never smiled, but yet I had all this wisdom that I you know, had acquired from making mistakes in life, but I couldn't share it confidently or really show personality because I didn't like my smile. When I was young and going through middle school, I hit puberty early. I hit puberty before everybody else, so you know, I had acne in my face, across my forehead, on my chin, on my cheeks. I had a goatee in like seventh, eighth grade. All of my friends were baby face. So guess what? That made me shrink. It made me quiet. I walked around with my eyebrows raised. See how I raised my eyebrows and you see the wrinkles in my forehead now. Well, with me having acne on my forehead, when I raised my eyebrows, the wrinkles would hide the acne. They would fold between the creases. And so I literally walked around like this all the time. And it got so bad that I forgot. I didn't realize that I had my eyebrows raised. And my dad would start to say to me all the time, son, relax your face, son, relax your eyebrows, relax your eyebrows. And I remember walking around and I would be like looking and I would look at a woman and my eyes would be like this. So this is saying something, you know, 70% of communication is nonverbal. So if I look at you like this, it's kind of like, what's up? What are you looking at? Or what's up? Wow, you look good. And so I remember women would be looking at me and they would be like, and I didn't understand. It was because of my insecurity. I had my eyebrows raised and I was looking at her funny. And so think about this and I and I share these examples so you can really think about my wife told me she was like um, she was maybe in middle school or something like that and she said this girl said to her she said this girl said to her stop poking your chest out trying to look like you have breast and she said from that day forward she started to slump so instead of having her shoulders back and you know with proper posture she started to slump so now she has neck pain she has shoulder pain back pain from bad posture and she was she used to have her shoulders back because you know her mother and her aunts and stepmother would tell her hey raise your shoulders sit properly keep proper posture and just that one phrase that one comment changed her whole life. So I say that to say, what did you see? What did you hear? What was said to you? Were you picked on because of your teeth, because of your forehead, because of your skin color, because of the texture of your hair, because of the size of your lips, the size of your nose? What made you hate yourself? Now, when you think about all of that, understand this, the less we feel about ourselves, the more we accept, the more we allow in life. So you literally will go to the table, 
So if I don't like my smile and I'm and I got a TV show on the line, I got a reality show opportunity because I feel unconfident about my smile, I will sit down at the table to do this deal and I will accept less money because I will say, man, I'm just glad they're giving me a shot with me having a bad smile. The same thing happens in a relationship. If you say, well, I don't like my body, I'm overweight. I don't like, you know, my breasts, my butt, my thighs. You know, as a man, if you say, well, I feel too short or I'm too heavy or I don't make enough money, whatever you don't like about yourself, whatever you hate about yourself, when you go into a relationship and you get somebody, it will make you feel like you need to accept less, like you need to settle because you feel inadequate. So sit down and really think about this thing and identify, do you hate yourself? And is it causing you to settle in your relationship? Are you putting up with so much because you feel like no one else will love you? Or like you'll never get this person, this type of person again or someone on their level again? Answer that question and be honest with yourself. Hey, this is Tony Gash and we'll talk soon.